Luna and UAD family, what is going on? I'm back with another video. The sound of tape is the sound of character, life, and the pursuit of happiness. So I'm sharing some secrets on how to use the Studer A800 today. Here are five secrets on the A800. Secret number one, the hidden menu. Just like the 224, this has a hidden menu, a very similar little logo. If you look for it, it says open. From there, you click it. Now, you'll have all sorts of extra parameters that you can tweak. It's basically like calibrating the inside of your tape machine. Secret number two, uh, actually inside of the UAD2 version of this plugin, you'll find something called gang controls. And that stands for ganged controls. What this allows you to do, say you're in Pro Tools or Logic, you can load an instance of this A800 across all of your channels. And if you hit gang controls, you turn it on. And then say you change a parameter, like the type of tape, the calibration, right? It's gonna make all of those parameters change across all instances of the Studer. It basically makes your whole system work like one big tape machine. That was kind of the goal when they made it. So that's a fun little feature. Uh, it does nothing to the sound. It's just literally slaving all of your instances together. Not sure why that doesn't show up in the UAD X version. Maybe someone from UAD, if they're watching, they can let me know I'm wrong, or maybe it does it automatically. Not really sure. Maybe there's another hidden menu in this one too. Secret number three can also be found in the hidden menu here. It's auto calibration. If you're gonna be changing some of these parameters inside of your tape machine settings, make sure that you have auto cal off. That way, when you change a parameter, it doesn't automatically calibrate the machine, which would basically change some of these other settings every time that you change that. So you'd be kind of swimming upstream uh, if you're doing that. So make sure you turn auto cal off or turn it on uh, if you wanna go back to automatically calibrated settings. Secret number four, driver bias or high frequency driver bias. Changing this little knob uh, really greatly impacts how your tape machine reacts to your sound. If you over bias and push it all the way clockwise, you can get more compression and warmth. If you under bias, turn it all the way to the left, uh, you're gonna get a lot of distortion and weirdness. Um, of course, using the high frequency uh, dial as well will impact this whole reactionary kind of event as well. So play around with it and you can get some really cool sounds. I could see that being highly useful on something like a synth um, or electric guitars could be fun. Of course, over biasing could be good with uh, maybe some drum compression, could be fun. Always go exploring and give things a shot. You know, just don't just think that there's one right setting for anything, have fun with it. Guys, if you wanna hear these secrets in action, I've just launched my new Class X line of presets. These presets are based and built off everything in this video and more. Each Classics pack is both UAD2 and UADX compatible. They work in any DAW, whether you're in Pro Tools, Logic, you name it. They're designed for post-production, so you don't have to have UAD console running, and this includes Luna. Now you can find all the presets right from within the Luna preset browser window. I spent a lot of time dialing these in, so they're already gain stage for post-production ABing, so you don't have to. Now I've included some of my favorite presets in these packs. Some of these presets have been used in songs that have been on the radio and even some of the country music networks. Classx is a great way to learn how to get the most from these plugins, and it's also the best way to support the channel so I can keep bringing you guys new content and find new ways to help you guys in your creative endeavors. Guys, your support means the absolute world to me. Click the link in the description below to find out more. I truly hope that you guys enjoy these new presets as much as I do. Secret number five has to do with these machine modes down at the bottom. You've probably never gave it much thought, but they actually all do something a little bit different. Through is obviously just gonna be a whole bypass across the board. Next we have input. Input is basically throwing this tape machine into monitoring mode. So think of it like you had a real machine sitting right here next to my desk. You're sending audio out to the machine and through its electronics, but it's not hitting the tape head, you're not recording anything, you're basically almost like level setting. Putting the plugin into sync mode is going to be where you're actually putting it through the electronics and going through the record head, uh, and you're listening to the sound of that audio through the record head. And then lastly, the reproduction head or the repro head is the like, quote, most authentic, if you wanna think of it that way. This setting is gonna allow you to monitor your signal through all of the electronics, 
the record head, and then the playback tape head, uh, and then of course out through the rest of the electronics. Again, kind of the complete signal path of the real machine in the real world. Hey, the more you know, that's, that's how you'd use that. Uh, again, I could see this being useful in a few scenarios. The first scenario is if you are trying to calibrate the machine yourself. Try switching it over to sync and seeing what you think of the signal then. That's all I have for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these tips. If there's anything I missed or if you have a tip as well, help out the community. Leave it in the comments below and subscribe to the channel for all things UAD and Luna. To support the channel further, go to thestevekinney.com. You can find the new Studer A800 presets available now. It's a great way to support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Until the next video, guys. Cheers.